Hotty ho, everyone. Check out my door. It is a very big, humongous door. Because I am a humongous warrior. We're about to go get our Isaac armor on. Finally figured out that we need to go to our new home. So we'll travel to Lowtown. And travel to our new home. That way where we can find our magic chest that has everything in the world inside of it. It can store people, clothes, issues, all sorts of things. You got a problem, put it inside the chest and we'll make magic happen here. Not sure what this load screen is. A magic flaming symbol that's burning away but still there. Kind of creepy. Alright, this is Lowtown, land of the poor. As you can tell, the ground is made of cracked rubble and rock. And now our party of four. We actually have a dude now. Runs around the Lowtown Bazaar. Let's go to the apparel shop and buy some apparel. We got the apparel shop before we go and buy our Isaac armor. Oh, an acolyte staff. Robes. Can't wear any of them. That's okay. I don't think we're we're far enough in the game really to buy clothes. And we gotta go check out that Isaac armor. Ooh, twins. Hello, girls. In case you missed that detail. Uh, he, completely to magic, no. He's a dwarf. Whatever that means. Why he's telling us that? I don't know. No, I meant there are trinkets monger. I like how they're just kind of talking in the background, just saying the their thing, doing their, doing their stuff. Yes, this is where we live, the old city slums. I see. At least there's crates full of goodness, bracelets, and injury kits. Good for injuries, I assume. All right, wait, where is our little house here? It's kind of tough to navigate this map. For some reason, I feel it's like a little bit a little bit tricky. Maybe we need to go up here. Is our house up here? There it is, Gamblin's house, and this is gonna be our home. I believe as well as we got another lovely load screen. I'm gonna make our way into our home and check out our Isaac Dead Space 2 armor that was received for playing Dead Space 2 on my EA account. It's marvelous! A chest, a quill, a book, and a red table. Who could ask for more? Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm oh, still my. The the eldest. Quiet. Alright, let's retrieve from storage. Uh, where is our armor? Um, guys, where is our Isaac armor? Isn't it supposed to be in here? Hello? Okay. Why is it? What, what's in this door? Let's see. Maybe it's in here. Special deliveries. Ah! What do we got in here? All sorts of stuff. Great. And lots of XP now. We can check out our Isaac armor. What else are we get in here? Nothing really. Okay. We've got Sir Isaac armor, and I don't think we can wear it yet. We can't. It's too strong for us. Yeah. It requires a lot of dexterity and cunning. But we have it all, at least. I can't show you what it looks like, but... I promise we have it. Oh, no. And a woven bracelet that's trashy. All right. So then, well, where, where, where are we going? Where are, where are our quests we got going on here? We completed all those things. Birthright. Should we speak with Mother? We go straight to these main plot points. That's the thing to become the partner in the expedition. Do I have a Flemish amulet? We could take Abilene to find the ambush. I say let's deliver the... Eh, let's go talk to Varric first. And then we will go. Actually, I guess we'll activate the mother quest. Why the not? Have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. Yeah, this isn't a dream, bud. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. 
This thing seems fishy. Gamma, I think, is hiding something from us and our gorgeous sister Bethany. What exactly did it say, chump? Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Hmm, I'm gonna look, bud. Take me to the vault. Can't. It's in the cellar of the estate. Someone else lives there now. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gammon? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. He's an angry dude, an angry dude. Let's talk to Bethany because she has a giant stave on her back and I don't know how she carries it. She's getting some serious right shoulder pain. Maybe you could massage it for her. Guys, if you just reach into your computer monitor and give her a slight massage, she'll probably return the favor at a later date. Let's talk to her. So, I hate thinking badly of family, but did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say invested money that was meant to be mothers do you think he would tell us probably shouldn't be talking about this right in front of him but oh well i want what's ours good i'm glad we agree gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice apparently our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over thedas that is pretty lame he didn't, he didn't like doing anything magical, like create a circus with the money. All he did was sell it to dice gamblers. What? Lamo. Gambling couldn't have just sold himself and saved us all the trouble. <laughs> Can you just imagine him sweeping and scrubbing for some Tavinta matriarch? Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there, get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. Hmm, all right, I guess we can go and enter these sewers. Maybe we can find some moolah moolah in this cellar, find some money. Hawk, your ears up and you're free to go. Despite what you think, we had a good time, work, good thing working together. I might pass along an opportunity or two if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Stay safe. Well, that's kind of strange. They're just sending me letters and they put them all at this desk. That's very kind as Gamlin guards it. You're a jerk! If I could slash you with my sword, I would. Instead, I'll run circles in front of you to embarrass you with my speed. <laughs> time to leave. Let's go check out those sewers. Okay, change party... Add everybody because we like everybody. Let's add Varric. Let us add Varric. There we go. Boom. I can't wait till we get more people so we know what to do. Darkness falls. It's nighttime. Get an achievement for turning night. Toggle the map from day to night. Whoa there. Okay, so we can go all the way to Sundermount. Crazy. We got a crazy huge fast travel. I didn't know it was going to be this expansive this fast. And I didn't know that... I didn't know it was going to, you know, all of a sudden give us all these options. My playthrough is going to be so drastically different from everybody else's playthrough. That's crazy. Let's go back to Lowtown so we can talk to, um, this guy. What's his name? Varric. And then from there, we'll go to the sewers. I think we should talk to him first. And then we'll go check out the sewers. But this is pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited. My favorite part about Mass Effect 2 is being able to travel like to all these different planets, though it still is pretty guided. Like there still were a couple main missions that you could do, and granted, like the loyalty quests with some of the new shipmates you picked up, those were kind of on your own time. Uh, I hope there's something along those lines with characters where it's like you can go help this person or save this guy. Like I really want those choices where it's like you can't do both. Either we have to, yeah, uh, I don't know, go go find a clan around town, or we have to go and kill, you know. Varric or something. I really want decisions where it's it's one or the other. We have to go help this person or kill that person or whatnot. I don't know. All right, so whoa. Me. 
Ooh, we're in the city of elves. With a painted red tree, and there's an elf that looks like all the other elves we've seen before. Alienage culture? Whatever the heck that means. Okay. Adding things to our codex. Again, you could sit there and read that freaking codex all day long if you wanted to. It's like a novel times a hundred. More of these guys. Remember them from a couple episodes ago? You strange beast, you look just like the other one. Not a lot of variety in the character models, but I'm pretty impressed how large the city is here. Let's see, we're back in the city slums. Let's make our way over to that, whatever it's called, that tavern, which is where we're headed. There you go, it's on the map now. Doing your dance, come one, come all, trinkets and monger. I wish we could have some dance buttons of our own. Like, let's do some dancing. Okay. Headed to the hanged, whatever that's called, to talk to Varric, even though Varric is right with us. Doesn't make sense. What's up with this lady? She's got a marker over her head. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Elegant. Lady elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. It isn't always easy, but things are going well enough. That's wonderful to hear. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Athenral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Elf foot potion for crafting. Yum, 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 yum. Can order potions? She's a cutie. All right. Let's make sure. Uh, gather your party and venture forth. Let's make sure that we're at the right place, because I want to go to that Varric land. Okay, so where... That's our active quest, but where's the map? Let's check out the map and see where we're headed. Order potions. There's the hangman. This is where I need to go. Okay, so it's back. Back, back, back. I don't know why it's not, like, above our head. Maybe we have to do this order potions thing first, just complete this little you should meet my husband, tiny side mission here. Whoa, put those sometimes. away. Let's go. I'm trying to order potions. There we go. Elf root. We don't have anything for elf root. Oh well. The heart of the city for both commerce and By the maker himself. All right, so that really didn't do much for us. Clear out, you charlatans. Sergeant Melindra. Why, who are these all these people we're talking to? I want to go to the hanged man. Every coin those swindlers nab goes straight to the carter's coffers. They must be stopped. They must be stopped. People are stealing coin. No good, no good. Oh my, the hanged man. This is where we want to be. Let's see if we can talk to Varric inside here. Freeze load. Hey, look, it's a hanged man. That's why it's called the hanged man. I want to play hanged man. I've got a hanged man for you. It is, let's see. One five letter word. And then a space and a two letter word. Can you guess what it is? Actually, it's a six letter word and a two letter word. Excuse me. Thumbs up. You want to know why? Because you should hit that thumbs up button. Like this video. It really helps me a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. You don't realize how much it helps me. I can't sleep at night without thumbs ups. All right. Next stop in your career evaluations. Let's talk to Varric here in the Hangman. So. Here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartran can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Do we have a bad entrance? Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Hmm. Wardens are dangerous. No, they're not. Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A low-town woman named Loreen has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. 
I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. You watching you talk? Is that it? Okay, so we're friends now with Varric. New quests. I wonder how restrictive the game is in terms of if we go and like do this mission, does it take off our ability to do, you know, other subsequent quests, or how is that all going to work? I really have no idea. I like that every time we exit, we can travel. Let's go to Darktown. And we have to go there at night time, it looks like. That would be a better time, better way to sneak in. Sneak in to the estate where our mother's will is and see what she's won. See what prizes she's won. I always used to play hangman at restaurants. Like, you'd go there and be waiting for restaurants, and you'd bring a pen or a crayon when I was much younger, and you'd draw on the tablecloth. Hangman things. I loved restaurants where they'd have that and always spell out crazy words, usually related to some video game or TV show I was currently obsessed with. I'm sure you all did that as well, or otherwise I'm just a complete psychopath, but <laughs> playing hangman at restaurants is something I remember quite fondly here in Darktown. What do you got in the rubble? A rusty metal spoon, of course, we'll take it. Throw that at someone, jab it in their eye. Hey, time for some combat, boys. Boom! Wow. I don't know who did that, but someone in our party is really strong. So far, the combat has been pretty cinchy. I like how this lady's just walking by like nothing's going on. Like, there's these people fighting and she doesn't care or know what's going on at all. Let's backstab you. Boom. That backstab is super strong. But I love how these people just like walk, walk by like, ain't nothing happening, buddy. Keep walking, sister. Nothing going on. Look! Choose to live here? More assassins. What's in the sack? Torn trousers. Alright. I like taking trash. We gotta get down to the sewer level. Uh, I'm guessing those are the sewers down there. Can we go down here? No. Okay. Well, there's an exclamation point over there somewhere. Dark town. Codex updated. Alright. Where we gotta go? I gotta get down below. Look at steam. Ooh! Warm your hands. Let's make some hot chocolate. Pull out your cups, guys. Not that way. Okay, so where do we... Here we go. Climb into the cellar. Look at this ladder. Convenient place below the cellar. How awesome is that? Go inside there. Kirkwall declared the common nug a noxious vermin in 520. Is that a Bible verse? A time of day? 520 exalted. That must be the Bible verse. Over fears the animals carried the blight. The extermination became known as the Battle of the Squealing... Something. Mages can turn enemies brittle. I like peanut brittle. I don't know if I like brittle warriors. Got lots of injury kits. Apparently we can't use those. What do we have potion-wise here? Injury kit. Persistent injury. Ugh, sorry for the yawn, guys. This game ain't born. I'm just tired. Oh, hey! The slave guard! Boom, how do you like that backstab? Can't take this, can't take these slashes. Can't take them, can't take them, can't take them, can't take them, can't take them. Ow! And now we're hidden. Oh, guess we don't really need to be. Everybody else is gone. Stamina. Getting lots of money, money, money. Let's make our way up into the cellar. Forgot about our other attack we got here, the charge down. Uh oh. Ooh, assassins. Hey, assassin. You can't see me. Ah! Keep our eyes closed. Oh, eat this sauce. You dastardly foe. That's. Whoa. Knock you over. Kind of a delayed. Weird delayed attack that worked. Boom. Backstab for the kill. Hey, let's stun the assassin. What's that sound? And why don't we do the pause action right now just to give you a little taste of what that's like? So, what kind of spells you've got? Defense. We don't really want that. Uh, we don't really want those. So, let's switch over to Sister Bethany. And let's cast nothing because we don't have anything right now to cast. Okay. But we can attack! Alright. I'm gonna be Bethany for a little while. Why not? Before we wrap up this episode, I will show you what it's like to be Queen Bethany. The beautiful. Alright. Another chest. What's in here? Frayed rope. Portrait of your mother. Injury kit. Weird. Another quest opens up. Man. The game just don't stop. They don't want you to continue the main plot. They want you to do everything. Hey! 
the Amel it's our crest. crest. It's really sad what happened to the Amels, isn't it? Blah, 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 blah. Guessing this is our family. Okay. Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Hey, it's these guys. We've leveled up, but we'll do that after we face off. All right, so we pause. Only rogues can de detect and disarm traps. I don't see any traps. We'll have to check in a second here. First, boys and girls, let's cast Spirit Bolt. What's this one do again? Oh, yeah, slams into the target. You ready for that, Slaver Assassin? Hey, you trapped me. That wasn't nice. Let's try it again. See, I don't really like the pause. You can see how this can be kind of tedious. Let's do it to the slave guard here. Boom. And, and we could do this, I suppose. Cast this fireball in this area. And it's pretty cool to pause the action, but it's a lot cooler to say, Hey, I'm going to do it right in front of your face. And do it live action style, because pausing can be kind of tedious and boring. As you can see, my rogue is sneaking, sneaking all over the place here. Switch back to her. Hey, I like being you the best. All right, where is that trap? See that trap? Where's that trap at? Where is the trap? The trap. Oh, it's some guys in here. What are you guys doing? Where'd you come from? Whoa, that was a major firebolt blast. We did some serious damage. I don't know if that knockdown does much damage. I think it just prevents them from attacking for a second here. Horistry of Kirkwall. We could read all this stuff, but... I'm with you. That'd be very, very time-consuming. So I think what we'll do here is level ourselves up and wrap this episode up. Again, keeping them all slightly longer here for you guys. Grab a level, pick up our attributes, and we'll up our dexterity to 20. And we'll build our cunning to 14. And now we've got to pick a point. What do we want to do? I don't really want to do archery. What's this down here? Confusion. We could upgrade our miasmic flask. Specialist. Hmm. Speed. Power. I'll save those for a little later. What about scoundrel? Any target not actively okay, so that we can attack guys who aren't paying attention to us. Back to back. Or we can make ourselves in stealth a longer, but those require higher levels. What about the first one again? Those all require higher levels. What's this guy up here? Well, let's increase the speed. What do you guys say about that? Speed upgrade? Let me upgrade you. I like that. Let's do that. Greater speed. Or, or what about the scoundrel one? When we can engage other guys that are distracted. Hmm. 120% damage? I like that. Let's do that. Blindside. Good deal. And we will auto level her because I don't like her very much. And now Bethany will pick her stuff for her. Let's give her all three magic points. Seems like 20 is the magic number if you want to get, like, very good at something. All right, now we have Pyromancer. Long practice with Wheeling Fame to please all fire damage. Firestorm. Cone of Cold. Let's go with Firestorm. Why not? I like it. I want to see that Firestorm. Boom. All right, feeling pretty good about this, guys. And with that, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said in our little game of Hangman, hit that thumbs up if you feel so kind. If you feel so obliged to do that. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.